and welcome to Our Favourite Stories. We've picked our most favourite stories to read just to you and we hope you love them as much as we do. Please sit back, relax, snuggle up with your favourite toy and we hope you enjoy our stories. Kipper's Toy Box by Mick Inkpen Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's toy box. I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper, and he emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's wrong, he said. There should only be six. Kipper counted his toys again. This time he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl, one. Hippopotamus, two. Sock Thing, three. Slipper, four. Rabbit, five. Mr. Snake, six. Ah, that's better. Kipper put his toys back in the toy box and he counted them one more time just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight noses. That's too many noses, said Kipper. Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. One, he said crossly. Out went Hippopotamus. Two. Out went Rabbit. Three. Out went Mr. Snake. Four. Out went Slipper. Five. But where was six? Where was Sock Thing? Kipper was upset. Next to Rabbit, Sock Thing was his favourite. And now he was gone. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. And he picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. It was coming from the corner of the room. Kipper turned on the light. There, wriggling across the floor, was Sock Thing. It must have been Sock Thing eating his toy box. Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Big Owl. Sock Thing wriggled slowly round in a circle and then bumped into the basket. Then he began to wriggle back the way he'd come. He did not seem to know where he was going. Kipper followed. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock Thing squealed and wriggled harder and then a tail appeared and a little pink tail and a voice said, don't hurt him. So it was you. You've been making a hole in my toy box, said Kipper. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box to make their nest. You promise not to nibble it again, said Kipper. We promise, said the mice. In return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard and the two little mice never ever nibbled Kipper's toy box again. But their babies did. They nibbled everything. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe and share. We'll see you soon for the next story.